Monroe County is offering a $5,000 reward for help finding their missing daughter. Now, we've shown you her face before, but take another look right now. The parents of Kaylee Jones say they believe she could have been lured away by an online predator. It's been a month since she went missing. The 16-year-old, who we are now learning has autism, was last seen the night of June 14th at her family's home on Whooping Creek Church. We're told Kaylee might be going by her birth name, Jillian Page Temple. Her parents believe she's in danger. If you have any information, please contact the Carroll County Sheriff's Office. Welcome back and welcome to today's reading. Now this reading on Miss Kaylee Jones, I've seen her name a few times. Usually when I see the same case or the same name a few times, I do at least an initial reading on it. I feel like that's a sign to do so. And um, this one has kind of got me a little bit interested because I know it's it's typical as far as or not typical but it's more common is these girls are being lured away or groomed online and going missing in those circumstances but I don't know there's something about this case that I feel like maybe just a little bit more to it than just simply being I don't know I could be wrong I just I don't know I just feel compelled to do it so I do have um 10 questions already picked out and this will be an initial jump off just to just to see where things lie that way um I'll have something to go on for another reading so this is going to be on missing Kaylee Jones she's 16 years old and she's out of Georgia now, the only thing that I have um, watched on this or researched on this has been that news clip. I've just seen her name and just missing in her name. Um, the only thing that I know is that her adoptive parents caught her talking or Snapchatting with several, several guys, men, and took her phone from her. And that she proceeded to... Uh, get on a chat website which is a video video chat as well on something called Omegle. Now I, I'm not familiar with Omegle. I don't know what it is. I did look in the Play Store to see what type of app it was and there was two different apps that was connected with the name Omegle. So to me it looks like it's one of these like Tinder sites but it's with video chatting. So at 15 years old what is a girl doing on that type of website is is a main concern of mine so that will be one of the questions so let's just go ahead and get into the, the questions first one is I want to look at Kaylee's home environment what the dynamic and the relationship between her and her doctor parents are and what her home environment is like why was Kaylee on sites like Omegle. What was her intention? What was she looking for? Why was she on those sites? Kaylee's state of mind the day that she went missing or the night that she snuck out. The reason in her mind why she was sneaking out. What her plans or intentions was once she did sneak out, where she was going to go, who she was going to meet, what was her plans and intentions after sneaking out. <clears throat> Circumstances surrounding her going missing. Person directly responsible for her not returning home their motive something hidden or unknown about her disappearance and an open card all right okay before i even 
be able to interpret these cards and, and put this together. I do want to say I do not feel like this little girl is um is passed on. I feel like that she's still very much alive. <laughs> and um I just I, I just feel strongly that um she's she's still still on this plane. Now the first question was the home environment what it was like it her life at uh, the home she was living in because they have uh, made clear that she could be going by her birth name which it suggests to me that she's adopted or fostered and that's the king of pentacles reversed king of pentacles reversed is i expected usually as a male now this would most likely be an older male i would say more like the father figure now, reverse, the King of Pentacles is um, a man who is greedy and untrustworthy. Uh, debt being the highlight from overspending damages. And he's corrupt, involved in fraud, and determined to get ahead at any cost. <clears throat> right off the bat, I sure hope this ain't what I, I, I feel like it is. Just by, just by this first card. But I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there. Because... The truth is, is, is always straight. I feel like straight off the bat, this being the very first card and it aspecting the whole entire family environment, that this is the adoptive father. And I don't feel like this girl um, run away. I don't feel like she was the one that put herself on a meagle. I get a really bad feeling from this King of Pentacles reverse, and I feel like that's. Simply put, I feel like he sold her for whatever this debt is. But let's let's keep on going to see. Second question was what she was doing on Sight Cycle Meagle. What was her gain from that? And this is the death card. Death is uh, bringing endings and beginnings sometimes all at once, um, all at, in one swift move. But now the impact from this being sudden and often shocking. Um, it's having little to no control over the external events. And it's the ultimate reality check. It's just leaving you with the bare bones of the truth. Now, if we're going to break this down, we're going to start with home. In aspecting of the home, it shows relocating. Uh, in aspects of relationships, it is uh, a period of separation. Uh, when it comes to money or career, it's a way of bringing in income. Like I said, I feel like, I hope that's not what it is, but it's, it's exactly what it is. That's not what I want it to be. I mean, now the next question was, Kaylee's state of mind the night that uh, she left that home. And that's going to be Eight of Swords reversed. Eight of Swords reversed uh, is the same as being upright. It's feeling trapped. You know, feeling trapped because you got no say so over your external circumstances, your events. That's just exactly what this is paying out to be. Now, as far as the reason for her sneaking out, that's going to be the Four Cups reversed. The Four Cups reversed shows hanging around and being in limbo. So, see, this girl didn't sneak out. She didn't just simply sneak out and she wasn't lured away, she was sold. The plans or intentions that she had, that's going to be a six of wands reverse. That's showing a reward or the end game being not what you were promised. Not getting what you were promised is not being fulfilled. It's being let down by others uh, in specific, a self-important, prideful, arrogant individual. King of Pentacles reversed. So, she was lured out of that house, all right, but she was told that she was going for something that did not materialize. Uh, going back to this death card, these events, this changes in circumstances being shocking and the impact being sudden. This girl was sold. Now, as being 16 years old, that would be prime, prime time to be sold as well. Now, as far as circumstances surrounding her going missing, 
That's going to be the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles shows money coming to you. Um, it's This money coming to you allowing you to pay off any type of uh, outstanding debts. It's receiving this money from someone from your past. Yeah, this is all about money. And the main theme of this card is Pentacles. So this is all about money. She was sold to cover debts. Now, the perpetrator or responsible person responsible for her not coming back home or her disappearance is going to be the Seven of Swords reversed. Seven of Swords reversed shows legal problems of and in business dealings with unscrupulous people. So, this right back to the King of Pentacles involved in fraud. Um, I'd say the fraud isn't just this missing report. Some type of business dealing. So, I, he's owed some, he owes somebody money. Outstanding debts. He's owed some, got into bed with a business partnership that, that didn't uh, work out for, for his favor. Now, the motive is the star reverse. The star reverse is showing feeling anxious and overwhelmed. It's the need to resolve. Um, looking for a change in circumstances to resolve that. And it's continuing to play the victim long since you've left the situation that you felt you were victimized in. So, this is this is her going missing. This is a false, fraudulent, missing report. They know exactly where she is because they sent her there. Now, something hidden or unknown is a Queen of Pentacles reversed. Usually aspected as a mother. Queen of Pentacles to who? The King of Pentacles? Mother and father. Here we go. Um, it's the female dealing with the impact of someone's financial mishaps. Their finances suffering from that. It's funds being misappropriated. Yeah, this is his shady business dealings. Yeah, they, he's gotten into bed with somebody in business. I'd say probably somebody that was on a different side of the law that wasn't so up and up and they've had to come up with some type of repayment and it's been that girl after all she wasn't really theirs right she was adopted not that that matters but now the open card is the two of pentacles once again pentacles money it's making a decision concerning money around money it's showing cash flow issues only being temporary, being a phase. But it also is showing two properties. So there are two properties that this family has. And I would be willing to bet that the other property is probably not well known. Maybe in somebody else's name. But that's where this girl is. That's exactly where they're holding this girl. Now, God only knows what her repayment is. I bet we could probably guess. But, I would be willing to bet. I would, be, I would really like to know, if the adoptive father, what type of business dealings that he's been involved in. Especially here recently. And who he owes money to. Who is, what his outstanding debts are. And I would be looking for that other piece of property because that's exactly where this girl's at. Wow. You know, the story wasn't that far-fetched. You know, they put this girl on Omegle or, or these dating sites or whatever. She didn't put herself on there. She didn't run away. She was lured away, but she was lured away by them telling her, you know, this change in circumstances, uh, an ending and a beginning altogether. Uh, relationships being separated. And this is this this relationship's been separated is also contingent to it being reconciled or 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 rejoined but at a later time. That's exactly what this is. So I feel like they need to be looking at the adoptive father. Let's see here. Let's see here. This is why I felt so funny about this case. Is because this little girl was... I mean, it's true about her being on Omegle. And I'm sure it was true about the Snapchats with the four or five guys. But I don't believe it was this 16-year-old this girl. I truly don't. Especially if, if she's special needs and autistic like that. Like they're claiming she is. Now, that's just, you know, just icing for the cake, you know. Oh, she was special needs and autistic. So she was easily lured away. I'm sure she was. By... Let down by people that you should be able to trust. 
a self-important, arrogant individual. That is the adoptive father or the father figure. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna ask some yes or no questions. Did Kaylee leave the house on her own accord? Maybe. All right. Was Kaylee lured out of the house like the parents are reporting? Yes. Okay, that still makes sense. Did the adoptive father sell Kaylee? Court card. Yes. Is she on one of the two properties that the cards said? Maybe. Probably been shuttled back and forth, I'd say. Was Kaylee used as repayment for a debt? Court card. Yes. Wow. So I look for if this is not um, if this is exactly what the cards say, which I believe the cards over any human being's word. Then this is probably something that will just fade away. This will be something that you know just oh she's gone missing and either she's it'll either be one or two things. Either she's gone missing and it'll fade away. There'll be something else that takes its place or gets the public's interest. Or she'll suddenly show back up at home. One of the two, but as sure as I'm sitting here, the adoptive father needs to be looked at if that's really what, um, if there's no other deeper, well, let's see here. Is there deeper involvement such as law enforcement or higher-ups involved in Kaylee's disappearance? No. All right, so if the law enforcement really wants to crack this case, they need to be looking at the adoptive father and his shady business dealings and the properties that he has access to. Is Kaylee on one of these properties? Yes. There you have it. There you have it. Is Kaylee still alive? Maybe. She's still alive in person, but they broke her spirit. I guarantee you. Yeah, she's no longer, she will no longer be Kaylee. After something like this, um, I can't even imagine what it would do to, to a, a young girl's. Especially if she is is Kaylee truly autistic and special needs? No. There you go. There you go. So she knows exactly what's going on. This is feeling trapped, being let down, shocking. The the uh, the death card being an ending and beginning together, or all at once, it being shocking, sudden, and external events that you have little or no control. Over. So she's been used to repay a debt. Will Kaylee return home? No. Okay. So they're just going to keep this girl is missing, correct? Yes. She'll be one of the missing ones that they never find, but yet it'll fade away as another case takes its place in the public's interest. So there you have it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this reading. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.